Next into the repair shop, Nikki Dean and her son Tom from West Sussex. How you doing? Hi, I'm Nikki. Jack. Hi. Right. Hello. Hello, Hello Tim. Tom. Hello, Hello Tom. Tom. Obviously in the boat it is, yeah? It, it is. sure is. They've brought along a prized possession for the attention of gramophone specialist Tim Weeks. This is well wrapped up. Is it all right to open it up yeah, and see what we've got? Like Christmas, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Tell us about this. Well, this is an opera phonograph. OK. Mm. This belonged to my father, and right. it has been in the family about 40 years, and I inherited it 11 years ago when okay. Dad passed away. Right. He collected phonographs and gramophones. Okay. He passed the gramophones to my brother Mark. Right. And he passed all the phonographs to myself. To <laughs> an extent, you got the better end of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> the phonograph was invented by Thomas Edison in 1877 and played cylinders, unlike the gramophone, which played flat discs and was patented ten years later. I can tell you this, the Edison Opera is uh, pretty much the top of the range mm -hmm. that Edison produced, and these are not commonplace at all. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a thing to have one of these in the shop. My father, he had 40 to 50 machines in his entire collection, okay. and his pride and joy was the opera. What was his name? Gilbert Fury. Gilbert, I think I knew him. Ah. I think I used to have a shop doing these in London in the 1980s. Ah. I definitely didn't sell him this, but I think I may have sold him a few cylinders. I'm yeah. sure you did. Oh. <laughs> oh, so this was his. Shall we have a look inside? Yes. Oh, blimey. That's a big two spring motor in there. Absolutely marvellous. You could run a small car on that. <laughs> <laughs> the speed isn't constant, so if that could be looked at, that right. would be great. One of the main parts, though, is the horn. He managed to fix this onto here with sticky tape. Oh, OK. So how did it get broken, then? Well, it was in um, a position in the lounge, and a very small group of children came along who were exceptionally inquisitive, and the horn got knocked off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> too young to remember. <laughs> So, Tom, have you ever heard this working there? Oh, I have. I used to sit on my grandpa's lap for hours and hours and then, just yeah. absolutely transfixed by all these <laughs> cylinders, all these machines that I'd never seen before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was ace. Probably where I got my love of music from. The opera was his pride and joy. Right. Well, if this was his favourite one, we'd better make sure that we do a really good job on it then, hadn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing it in. Thank you. OK, and we'll let you know how we get on. Thank you. Cheers, Thank you, Tim. See you soon. Take okay, care. Bye-bye.